Hello friends and welcome to lesson 37 and in this lesson we will write the code to get our x and y axis and we will print x and y axis on these last text. So first back to your touch.xml and in the relative layout make a space and type and write id at the red plus id and write IDREL. Now back to your touch demo. Here implement view dot on touch listener and on long click listener. Click on this activity, press Alt and Enter and press OK. It will um, implement two methods on long click listener from, from interface on long click listener and on touch from interface view dot on touch listener. Click OK. And our methods are ready. Now set the IDs and uh, references of your text views. Text view text view 1, text view 2 and text view 3. Now down here type text view 1 equal text view find view by id resource dot id dot text view 2 the, for the second text view 2 equals Text view, find view by id, resource dot id dot text view 2, sorry it's text view 1, it's 2, it's 3 and text view 3, text view, find view by id, resource dot id dot text view Four. Uh, we will check these IDs. Uh, it's text view two, text view three, and uh, text view four. Now write relative layout RL to relative layout find view by ID source dot id dot and our relative layout id is id rel id rel now our relative layout is set and we will set on touch and on long click on this relative layout so type rl dot set on touch listener this just like on button click listener set on long click listener this now back to your on long click type text view 3 dot set text write on long click works this is pretty much for on long click and for the touch we will take a motion event of x and y axis from this event object type float x equals event dot get x same y Oops, float y equals event dot get y and we will print this to our text views 1 and 2. Now text view 1 dot set text, set text x equals x. 
text view to dot set text y equals y uh write capital letters it looks good and we will execute the application now we will see the output yes click on this touch demo and when we long click on this screen now i am long click on this screen it will change on long click works and when i drag my finger on the screen the x and y coordinates changes now you can use use this to create a game um with graphics i will show you how to create graphics with android in our in my let, later tutorials so in this way you can get x and y coordinates of your touch screen so thank you very much for watching this have a nice day